guys, my name is Julia with the Core Lab, and in this video, I'll be talking to you about tools I typically take with me on a display setup, just like this one behind me. You guys ready? Let's go. All right, guys, this is my magic box. I take this box to every setup that I make, and we do a lot of setups on a weekly basis. So I want to make sure it's seen. This is what it looks like. Um, so I'm gonna go through each thing that I have in here. So this is my basis for a balloon. So I have the fishing line, I have the ribbon, and then I have a twine. Twine I use for some of the balloons creations and I use it to hang the balloons and to hang the streamers. Sometimes to tie whatever I need to tie to whatever surface I need to tie it to. So twine is an amazing tool to have on hand. Um, I always bring extra balloons with me to the setup, even though 99% of the time I have them pre-inflated. You never know what is it going to look like in a space. What if the balloon is going to pop? What if you're not happy with how it looks? So you have that handy with you on site so you can always add the more, more balloons. And in order to create a balloon, you need your balloon pump. I actually have two electric pumps with me and I typically have two hand pumps with me. One small one for the 260s and one bigger one for the regular balloon. I also have the full roll of the U-glue dashes. So these are perfect for, you know, filling the holes with the single balloons or attaching balloons to the wall or basically anything else. You will see me using that in a lot of videos uh, that I'll show you. Uh, we're using them a lot in the decor lab school so very good tool to have another base those are my 260s so we use them for pretty much everything but for balloons for streamers uh, for sometimes some of the display so uh, really really useful uh, material to have zip ties i feel like every decorator needs to have a handful of zip ties so I definitely have several different sizes with me. So this is the 11 inch. I typically have a little bit of the 11 inch, a little bit of the eight inch, and a little bit of the four inch with me. Um, four inch is perfect for the signs, uh, and eight and 11 inch are perfect for your bases. Getting back to your electric pump, this is a very useful tool if you do need to have two of them working together at the same time. You have like 15 minutes to set up and you need to work fast, so this is always with me also could work as an extension cord these two boxes is the last thing that i have actually it's three things that i have so let's start with the boxes so this first box baby box i have those all my bases for the attachment to the wall so those are all of my command hooks uh different types for the outdoor command hooks the indoor command hooks the mountain bases for the ceiling installation for balloons i have some velcro um, and here are my four inch zip ties here as well. So this is my command hook box. And this is my, I wanna call it like toolbox. I have clamps here, always useful if you have anything to attach to your wooden boards or any other displays. My double stuffing tool. Um, more twine, so if you, I do have a black one that I use most of the time, but if you have the white display or a light display, you would rather work with a lighter, lighter twine. And then a low heat glue gun, um, again, perfect for balloons and balloon fillers. What else do I have here? This is my everything. So I have chains for signs. I have screws because you never know if you'll need them or not. I have safety pins and I have the rings also, they're perfect for the balloon streamer. I have shears here, shears or wire cutters. I have shears here right now. So perfect to cut your zip ties when you're breaking down, uh, perfect for your sequin wool setups and breakdowns. I have scissors for your balloon creations. Again, cutting the twine or cutting the ribbon. And I do have an extension cord that I didn't happen to use yet, but it's nice to have it rather than not to have it. So, and this is my toolbox. And the last thing I have in this box are the dryer sheets. 
if you do work with the balloon so you know how useful these babies are especially if you have any dust or any residue on your balloons you just wipe them with the dryer sheet and you're good to go all right guys so this is everything i take with me uh, to my setups again doesn't matter what you're setting up balloons streamers or the bases i am ready it also helps if you don't know the space you're working with so you pretty much prepare for any surface any weather and any different circumstances because you have so many different alternatives how to make your setup if you guys like this video make sure you give us a thumbs up and also we share a lot of tips and tricks and behind the scenes on our instagram so make sure you follow us on instagram and you can find the link down below in the description and i will see you in the next video